Hey, Jeff, I guess, um, you know, for, for you, I guess you, you've had one of the most productive years of your career. I know a lot of it's probably about opportunity, but how good does it feel for you to kind of contribute the way you have after being mainly regarded as a blocking tight end most of your career? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, like I said, when we talked about that a lot, you mentioned opportunity. That's a big part of it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about my role in our offense. You know, I'm um, – able to progress throughout my career and develop a little more and do some um, do some things in the passing game has been fun. Um, and I just – being able to contribute to our offense in, in different ways for me has been pretty rewarding. All right. Media, are we, are we good? I may fire a couple more um, as well. Jeff, Jeff, as far as, you know, it's a, it's a tough sport. Guys go down with injuries a lot. But when it hits close to home guy in your position group, how much you hate to see Michael – um, go down on Sunday and what did you tell him? Yeah, man, that's a, it's a heartbreak, man. It really is. You know, I know for my Cole, you know, how much he, how much time he invests, how much he cares. Um, and so to see him get hurt and have to watch him, you know, lay out there in the field in a lot of pain. And, um, and then, you know, I, I've, I've been in that spot before. And so I know what happens when, when you leave the field injured and your, you know, your season's over, um, you go from being heavily involved in something, really invested in something to immediately done. And the team, you know, in some sense moves on and you're just left there, you know, kind of lonesome. And so I know that's a, that's a terrible spot to be in. Um, but I know how he is, man. He's a resilient dude. So, you know, he'll bounce back. He'll obviously get healthy again and be able to um, play at a high level like he's done. But um yeah, mostly, man, it, take, it takes a toll on you to watch it. And I know for him, like, having to watch his teammates play and um, think about us going on, you know, without him in that sense is, is hard for him to deal with. And, and when a new guy comes in like Ryan, what, what do you do to kind of try to get him up to speed? And maybe what are some of your early thoughts on, on him right out of the gate? Well, there's nothing on, – on in a week like this, man, you're just, you're just trying to get him familiar with terminology and – and uh, our system, how we run things. Um, I wouldn't, <laughs> I'm not gonna try to put my spin on things because that's my position coach's job. Um, but there is stuff, you know, like in terms of, hey, when we, when we run this play, this is how I, my footwork is, this is how my hands are, this is how I block. Um, all that stuff is talked about throughout the week. Um, but he's a sharp dude. I mean, he, he's, a, he's played in this league for a while, so he knows, he knows how things go. And, um, he was a hard worker and all that stuff. And I've, I've watched him play when he was in New England. So um, we've got a pretty good idea of what he can do. Jeff, I'm just wondering what's been like for you and just for all, all the guys uh, this week to have uh, Derek back on the field. Yeah, it's cool to see him out there, man. You know, I, I know how hard he's been working to um, do his part to, to get healthy again and, um, like I said, haven't haven't had injuries before. I know um, how lonesome it is to 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 be by yourself grinding away. But knowing Derek and knowing how he works, man, it's it's uh it's not a surprise that he's he's progressed like he has because he's just a he's a stud. So yeah, excited to see him out there. Happy for him to have him running around again. I'm sure he feels he feels good to be back playing football. Um, just cool to see him out there. And we'll wrap up with Jim Wyatt. And Jeff, I know AJ talked a little bit earlier with us about no one's talking about the number one seed. Uh, you're talking about just winning on Sunday. Is that kind of been the mindset for everybody? And does that make it pretty simple to keep the focus on that? Yeah, um, that's the best thing you can do in in the, through the whole course of the of the season is just take things one game at a time. And it's a cliche, but there, there's a lot of truth in it, man. Because if you get a, if you get ahead of yourself, start looking too far ahead you can skip over the important things you need to do right now and the progress that you need to make and um, the corrections. So for us, it's, it's really just been about, you know, what's Wednesday practice, what's Thursday's practice, what's today, Friday's practice going to look like, um, how are we going to walk through, how are we going to prepare for the game, um, and not really thinking too much about the future because you do your best when you're focused on what you're doing in the moment. And I may slide one more in on you if I can, just on because, because Deontay's a Texas guy. Just what would you know about him before he – uh, arrive with the team and how cool has it been to see maybe a fellow Longhorn, maybe you kind of do what he's done, um, you know, with he, here in Nashville. 
Yeah, I know Deontay a little bit. I, I played with him one year at Texas. Uh, my senior year, um, he was our back, so I've had some experience with him. Um, his his style of running fits pretty well. You know, he, he plays hard. He, um, he has pretty good vision from what I can tell. You know, I'm not a running back, but uh, it's cool to see him doing well. You know, it's cool to see Texas guys out there um, tearing it up. You know, when, when we signed Marcus Johnson, it was the same thing, man. It was just cool to see a former teammate of mine getting to play with him again. Um, and that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to be, man. You got a little fraternity of, of guys you play with. So it's always exciting to see them doing well.